guys, AK47 Master here, welcome to another episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. And on this episode, we're going to be starting off Case 2, Turnabout Sisters. Also, once you complete a case, it actually shows you a little overview of what the case entailed. It gives you a little uh, cover art for it, which is pretty cool. Besides just having this plain old courtroom background. Anyways, let's start off Episode 2, Turnabout Sisters. Hello? This is Maya. Hey Maya, it's me. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely, and it's all your fault. Nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. Finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you? Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha, so what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like that statue of the thinker. It tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Now, now. You know I'm only teasing. Ah, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out, sorry. I put some papers inside it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Hmm, well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way, yes. Can you come by the office tonight, say it's 9 o'clock to pick it up? I'll be in a pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner, something good, like burgers. I could really go for a good burger. Okay, okay, we'll hit the usual joint. Alright, it's a deal. Okay, sis, see you soon. Yep, I'll be waiting, Maya. Conversation recorded, September 5th, 9.27 a.m. Eight September 5th, 8.57 p.m., Faye and Company Law Offices. Now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine. The papers? I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, you're a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker. Let's swallow those papers. How could you know? Ho oh, ho, you are not configurous of my background. Gathering information is my business, you see. I, I should have been more careful. Ho oh, oh, ho, my dear Miss Fay, I am so very sorry, but I am afraid I must ask you for one more thing, your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Fay. Uh-oh, I'm late. Huh? That's strange. The chief must have gone home already. She said her sister was coming over so we should go go out for dinner. What's that smell? Blood? Mia! Maybe she's in her office. Well, this doesn't look good. Not at all. That smell! Blood! Someone's there? Oh my gosh. The chief! Chief! Who are you? Oh no, she's out too? That strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on this office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally she was cold. Chief. Wow. Crazy that she already died. Let's check uh, Mia's body. It's hard seeing her like this, but if there are any clues here, she was struck on the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. The thinker, lying next to her, must have been the murder weapon. 
pretty obvious. Hmm, there are some glass shards near the chief's body. Must be pieces of that light, the glass light stand lying broken in the back of the room. Alright, nothing else that seems like a clue here. Hmm, a piece of paper. It must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? What could it be? It has some red writing on it, too. A word is written in blood on this private paper. Maya. Did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store, dated yesterday. Uh-oh. I think Mia might have been that girl that just passed out. I think that's enough snooping around for now. I better call the police and find out what that girl was doing here. Alright, so let's head over to the phone, which surprisingly is one of the only things that didn't really get destroyed. Right, I better call the police. That's funny. I feel the screws on the receiver are missing. Looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Police! Please, come quickly! What was that? Someone screaming from outside the window? Whoa! She's staring right at me. She's holding a phone in her hand. This doesn't look good. We better get out of here. Alright, let's head back to the lobby. That girl just now. Where'd she go? I put her right there on that sofa. Uh-oh. I hope she didn't run on me. Whoa! Yipes! Don't scare me like that. Um, excuse me, but who are you? It's okay. I work here. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya? Faye? Maya. Wait a minute. So Mia was writing this girl's name? Maybe I should show her the receipt. I never thought there'd be a, re a use for ex evidence like this outside the courtroom. Gosh, I can't speak. <laughs> and that's this is probably the worst Let's Play in which I actually mess up words, because most of the story is done through the dialogue. Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. Yep, she sees it too. That's my name! Why? Why would she write my name? Please, just calm down. Oh, why would Sis write my name? Uh-oh. Now I've done it. And the police are here. Perfect timing. The police! Sounds like they're coming this way. Freeze! Police! Whoa. Alright, I'm Detective Gumshoe. I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, see? Gumshoe? What an odd name. We received a report from the building across the way, see? Got a person saying they saw a murder. Must have been that woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, see? Great, just great. Maya, wait, she wouldn't have. Nah. Whoa! Excuse me. This word my here mean anything to you? Uh, please don't tell him the truth. Please don't tell him the truth. That's my name. What? I told her not to tell the truth. <laughs> the victim drew this here blood. Drew this here no neural blood. See? With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. Good killer? I'm not a... Case closed. You're coming down to the precinct with me, man. What? Mia's younger sister, Maya, who was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around, waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. September 6th, 9.07 a.m. Detention center. Vid visitor's room. Whoa. They have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Oh. Oh. It's you, the lawyer. G good morning. Good morning. She looks so tired. Um, are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Of course I will. You're Mia's younger sister. I have to help her out. First things first, I better get her cheered up. Yeah, of course I will. Cheer up. Really? Whoa, did I say the wrong thing? She looks sadder now. Um, what? What's wrong? You don't think I could do it? No, no one could. Who would believe me? Even you, when you found me in the office, you looked at me like I, was, I had done it. Did I look, really look at her like that? No, no, I never thought. It's okay, I understand. And I've also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. 
it's been a while ha huh. so he crashed and burned he's a genius one of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types the only thing he's lacking is experience huh sounds like it was fun well I know who to go to if I ever get into trouble now I don't know Maya I think you might want to wait give him three more years that is unless you want to be found guilty that's what she said but I'm sorry I didn't mean to trouble you no it's okay it's true I guess but at the same time I can't just sit and watch when I think of the person who did this to Mia I know Alright guys, so in the next episode of Phoenix Radius Attorney, we will be questioning Maya to be getting some information out of her on the, on the crime, on my, who might have did it, and uh, well, some more stuff. I'll see you guys on the next episode.